Thank you, Tim, uh, and uh, thank you for everybody coming today. It's, it's great to see so many of you here at, at LEAD again. This is, as you've just heard, is my last event, uh, my last appearance as, as president of uh, the AA. So after two and a half years, it's, it's time to step aside and pass over the mantle to Camelot, Andy Duncan, and Andy will be speaking later this morning. As my presidency comes to an end, I've naturally been thinking, what, I've been what have we been doing over the last two and a half years and reflecting on that? And in fact, I've been thinking, why exactly did I say yes to Tim two and a half years ago? I said yes because I believe that advertising is everybody's business. Now, if you're in the room today, that's obvious. It's your bread and butter. You are in the advertising business. It's what you do all day, every day for many of you. Yet so many more people who aren't here today also have good reason to make advertising their business. If you sell anything, advertising is your business. So take BT. We spend millions of pounds a year on advertising. And in, in, in launching BT Sport, and I was glad to see a couple of BT Sport ads in the, in the reel earlier, we became both an advertiser and a media owner. Which means, like many companies, advertising is now our business in more ways than one. Even if you're in an organization with non-commercial aims, advertising is still your business, whether that's because you're a charity that wants people to act quickly to avert a crisis, or a government that wants to encourage social change. And every single person who live, whose lives are touched by advertising as consumers, advertising is their business too. Some adverts touch their hearts, become part of our cultural heritage, some touch a nerve and arouse heated disagreement and debate. And yet it seemed to me, as it seemed to the AA, that advertising often wasn't making itself heard on this subject that affects us all so profoundly. And it wasn't speaking with authority about its benefits. Businesses weren't seeing the full breadth of the opportunity that advertising can offer. And the wider debate, especially amongst politicians and journalists, was too often about what advertising does to people and too rarely about what advertising can do for people. So two and a half years later, I believe the AA has seriously started to change that, and I'm incredibly proud to have played a small part in it. So over the next few minutes, I'll reflect a little uh, over my time here, then I'll talk a little bit about what I think the future holds for the AA. So let's take stock. Together, we've reshaped what we're here to do. And by together, I mean me, Tim, the AA, and most importantly, all of you. We've turned from an organization that spent most of its time defending and reacting to an organization with a clear point of view on the case for advertising. Now, we're capable of raising the level of debate, and so nobody is in any doubt. We've written it down as a manifesto. We've even pre printed it on cards, so you always have it close at hand. We believe that UK advertising and particularly leadership in UK advertising, is crucial to the vitality of our economy and society. We believe that the building blocks of a strong advertising sector are, for brands, the best climate to encourage and create investment in UK advertising. For media, the best climate to create, make, and monetize content and services, both at home and abroad. And for agencies and advertising services, to retain the UK's position as a global hub, indeed, many would say the global hub, in the face of competition. Together, we've reshaped how we get our message out. The catalyst for this has been advertising pays. Our instinct told us that advertising was central to the economy, and we've backed that instinct with the evidence. Advertising pays basically proved that if money makes the world go round, then advertising will help that money go round. It's a great story, and people are listening. And I hope you can recite the facts in your sleep. But if you can't, here's a reminder. Advertising is not just a happy coincidence of GDP growth. It actually drives it. For every one pound of ad spend, six pounds is returned to the UK economy. Advertising supports over half a million jobs and 100 billion, that's 7% of GDP. Now, 2013 saw us tell this story in new ways, at industry events and even through advertising. 
We ran our own outdoor campaign in Westminster to promote the report. It helped that the backdrop was a more positive and more confident climate. Ad spend bounced back to pre-recession levels, and one of the first among many signs that the economy in general was improving. That's good news for all of us. We saw Advertising Week choose London for its launch, another signal that the important conversations about advertising are happening right here. It's great to see Advertising Week taking its place alongside London Fashion Week and the London Film Festival as a marker of the UK's central role in the creative industries. And looking forward to 2014, it could not be a more exciting time. At the AA specifically, we launch a new report today. Building on the case made in advertising pays, our new report focuses on, what, on, so on where the opportunities lie for advertising. Among other things, it argues that SMEs are underspending on advertising. We have to ask ourselves, and we will this morning, why is this and what can be done about it? In fact, it's the perfect time for us to ask these questions. Just last week, the trade minister, Ian Livingston, somebody I know quite well, launched a scheme to help SMEs make the most of overseas growth and export opportunities. He recognizes that the UK SMEs are missing out and that this report demonstrates that advertising has a part to play in fixing that. Of course, there will be challenges. When you are everybody's business, it comes with the territory. And we're a lightning rod for public opinion on an array of social problems and challenges, an easy way to score political points. Labour, for instance, has man mentioned advertising three times in recent months, and each time it's been negative. Should we ban advertising to children? Should we be ban advertising on payday loans? And should we ban advertising on high fat and high sugar foods? Now, we all have our own views on these topics, but no one, uh, no one point should we, uh, sorry, on, but on one point, we should be as one. These arguments cannot be thrown around without anybody thinking to ask for our opinion or to draw on our expertise. And with an election on the horizon in 2015, these sorts of pressures will only increase. But frankly, sometimes these challenges are of our own making. You might recall how last year the city of Westminster installed smart recycling bins which collected anonymized phone data when people walked by. This was a, as a way of tracking footfall, but what happened, in fact, was a media frenzy on minority report adverts. In advertising, as everywhere else, technology will keep us all on our toes. But through this association, we're in better shape than we have been at any point, in the, uh, any point ever before to form these debates positively. That's the next couple of years. What about the next couple of hours between now and lunchtime? The AA sometimes calls itself the 1% club. We spend 99% of our time out there competing with each other, coming together for the other 1% to take care of the one thing that unites us. Well, today is a 1% day. There are some great sessions lined up. To underline just how much advertising really is everybody's business, we've brought together a broad church, ad men, business leaders, broadcasters, politicians, journalists, and analysts. They're all here to debate an incredibly diverse set of topics. It looks set to be a really stimulating morning. I implore you all to make the most of what we have on offer this morning. So read the report, engage in the debate, and make it your business to think about what you can do once you leave here today to keep pushing advertising up the agenda. So to Tim and the AA team, I want to say thank you for that call two and a half years ago. I hope I've done my bit. To Andy, good luck. I hope you find your time here as challenging and stimulating and rewarding as I have. And to you all, if advertising makes the world go round, then it's you here today who make advertising go round. Do please get stuck into the sessions today and keep fighting the good fight after you leave. Thank you.